Coco Chanel once said, accessories are what makes or marks a woman, and in our case, it makes the amigurumi. Hi guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society. In this amigurumi crochet tutorial, we're gonna make an infinity scarf that you can customize and size for your amigurumi. We're gonna jump right in with supplies and then get started. We are going to grab some supplies. So we're gonna grab some yarn. I like to use the yarn that I made my amigurumi in. So in my case, it's comfy worsted yarn by Knit Picks, but if you made your ami in a DK or even a bulky weight yarn, use that size yarn that you use. We're gonna grab some scissors. We're gonna grab a hook that you use to make your amigurumi. And in my case, it's a size E. You can either use the exact hook size that you use to make your amigurumi or use one right around there. We are gonna grab a yarn needle, an optional stitch marker, and then you're gonna grab the amigurumi that you're making the bandana for. And here is my little friend Briggs the Bear and he's going to be my model today. Grab your yarn hook and stitch marker. We're going to get started by making a slip knot and chain. If you're just learning these techniques I'll link my slower video down below so you can check that out first. We're going to get started by grabbing some yarn. I'm going to leave a bit of a tail. I'm going to wrap that yarn around two fingers crisscrossing at the top. I'm going to push that back piece to the front and pull up to make a loop. I'm going to insert my hook, I'm going to get set up with my yarn, and then I'm going to grab my amigurumi and just keep him nearby. We're going to start out by chaining 10 stitches, so I'm going to yarn over and pull through. And I'm just going to start out with 10 because then I'm going to do a little measurement to see how long this chain stitch will have to be in order to fit around his neck. So you'll do the same with your amigurumi. Here I have 10 chain stitches and it's still a little too short so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to add 10 more so that I hit 20. You go ahead and measure and keep continue chaining as you need to. Here I have 20 chain stitches. Let me measure this a little bit better. I'm going to turn them over and I am almost there. So I'm just going to add like two stitches just to reach the other side. So you do the same, make your chain stitches and measure around your amigurumi. So this is perfect. This meets up exactly. In the end, I ended up with 22 stitches. To make an infinity scarf my way is to take that number of chains and multiply it by three. So in my case, I have 22 stitches times three equals 66 chains. So I need to add on some more chains to make 66. I'm gonna chain, you do the same, and we'll meet back. Once you have your base number of chains times three, what you're gonna do for an infinity scarf is flatten out all of your chains and then make this U shape. Make sure to flatten as you go because you wanna see all your V stitches on the top. This is actually the same concept that you would use if you were making an adult infinity scarf. Then I like to get set up again with my yarn, trying not to disturb my stitches, and then I place my crochet hook into that top chain right here. I'm gonna make a slip stitch to join. So I'm gonna yarn over, pull through the stitch, and then pull through the stitch on the other side. I'm gonna mark this first stitch so I know when my first round is done, and this is totally optional. You don't even have to grab a stitch marker if you don't need to. As we continue, we're just gonna add single crochets all the way around by going into that top of our chain. This scarf really couldn't get any easier. You could do half double crochet or double crochets if you wanted. I only do one round of single crochets just to keep it simple. I like to be able to wrap my scarf three times around, so that's why I multiply times three, but feel free to make it longer or shorter by adjusting your chain stitches. This is just my made up equation that seems to work for me, but you may find that you have an amigurumi that it just doesn't seem to work for, so just adjust as you need to. We're getting close to our stitch marker to finish up, so you can single crochet or slip stitch into that stitch with the stitch marker. I'm gonna cut and leave a long piece of yarn, and then I'm gonna yarn over and pull through. You can see here that our scarf is flat. There's no twisting, because we made our U shape and we it turned out perfect. So now I'm gonna grab my yarn needle, I'm gonna insert that yarn, and I'm just going to move over a stitch and insert my needle. I'm gonna pull that all the way through, and then I'm gonna find the last stitch I made, which I did fasten off, so just go ahead and grab that stitch that you worked into, and go down the middle and pull that through. Weave in your yarn, and then snip off that piece.
I'm gonna make that same join on the other side and then weave in the yarn and snip off the extra piece. Our infinity scarf is done. The back doesn't look amazing or anything because we only did one round, but we will be sure to put that in the back. He's all set, he's nice and cozy warm in his infinity scarf. I just wanted to show you my little mascot here. This is Gerald the Giraffe. This is by Storyland Amis. If you don't know her, she's an Amgroomy designer. She has amazing designs, so I will link her down below. You have to check out her patterns. But this is a guy that she made from one of her patterns. I don't know if she still has these in stock, but he's adorable. But I wanted to make him a scarf. And because he was a way bigger amigurumi, I just used a bulky yarn. I measured, I times it by three, and it actually turned out perfect for him as well. So just wanted to give you an idea of how it would look in a chunkier or bigger amigurumi. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials and crochet alongs, and head over to Yarn Society for free patterns.